morning, happy Monday. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I did not work out that reaction on Friday because look, it is a completely different color. So if I worked it up on Friday, I don't think it would have been complete. And then I'm so happy because we actually have dry ice today. Usually the dry ice shipment doesn't come until like later on Mondays. So like this is like the last bit of dry ice that we have left. So the plan for this morning is to work up that reaction. And then I booked the UPLC to analyze all of my samples that I synthesized last week. Let's get, let's get to it. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> this smells so good, you know. What? Oh my. Like the cherry or, or, or something like that. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Okay, okay. Like it smells so good. Go eat it, Jalvin. <laughs> Goodness, this is the actual worst. This is what I have been evaporating. Where is my product? You might ask. Why is there so little? It's because it's all right here. I freaking bumped a bunch of it is right there. <laughs> it is almost four o'clock and I have been working up that reaction and then there was like one of the compounds that I needed to call them because it wasn't pure so that's what I was doing and like this I'm losing my crap because like it just keeps bumping over I'm so scared that the yield is super low and it might even be even more dirty than before I columned it oh my gosh I, 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 I'm so annoyed I just checked the UPLC and uh whatever compound i did collect which is in lower yield by the way is just as impure as before columning as after so there was literally no point in trying to column this thing uh so now i have to repeat the synthesis because like now i have like barely anything but now it's for like 10. <laughs> I don't want to start another reaction, oh my god. It, it's pretty simple, it's pretty simple, but I'm just... Uh, I just need to sit here a little bit and just, just let it go. Okay, and it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> These things happen, it's okay. Oh my god, that's still, that's so frustrating. I cleaned all of this and it makes me feel so much better. <laughs> oh, okay. I already added the solvent and I weighed everything out and put everything into the solution. So let's just add this stuff and call it a day. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I am in the cell culture lab. I'm just about to revive some cancer cells. So let's just do it, let's just do it. change okay let's work this one up hello good morning happy wednesday i was looking at the last clip that i had and like i totally just didn't even vlog yesterday even though oh my god gotta focus 
even though I showed my reaction. So yeah, yesterday I did work that reaction up and analyzed it and everything and it looked good, it looked fine and I didn't need to purify it, just so good. So no more columning for now. My mice all arrived. So I ordered so many mice, one for my animal study and one for my pharmacokinetic study and they all arrived yesterday. I, I hadn't had a chance to sit down and actually plan like the dosing regimen and everything in detail yet. It's the weirdest thing, like when you want it to arrive, it doesn't come until like the end of the week. But when you're like not too ready, it just showed up super early. So now I'm like, oh frick. And then I went into like a whole panic attack mode. The literature was saying different things about the maximum tolerated dose for this drug, what kind of dosing regimen. And, and then I was freaking out about, oh shoot, like do I have enough compound to give that much dose? And like panic called my boss and he calmed me down a little bit. But anyways, today we're having a meeting at 10 a.m. It is quarter to nine right now. Back in the cell culture, Room because I'm going to change my media before I go and prepare all the slides for this meeting. Let's go change the media! Hello, hello. It is now almost 3 p.m. So I met with him and all of my in vivo and animal study plans are finally settled. Feeling a lot better about the plan now because yesterday I was so stressed out. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have anything planned. We're good now. And right now I'm just waiting for my samples. They're on ice right now. So right now I'm preparing samples for a plasma calibration curve. Here are my samples on ice and and we have 12 minutes left on the clock. So the purpose of doing this calibration curve before my animal study is just to see the lowest concentration of drug that can be detected with the UPLC because once these drug concentrations are in plasma, it's harder to detect. So we're just gonna see the limit of detection. My goodness, you won't believe it. <laughs> I think it was around three o'clock that I was like, oh, I'm just gonna finish these samples and then go home early. It is now 5.40 and uh, the lifelizer, which is the, the instrument, oh my gosh, my hair, that is supposed to remove all of the plasma and aqueous stuff is not working. <laughs> So my lab mates and I have been trying to fix that thing, but it's not working. So I had to uh, submit a request for a technician to come in to look at it. In the meantime, I had to hunt for another lifelizer in the faculty. Thank goodness the next door lab has one. I think I can still do my stuff tomorrow. So hopefully they will all lifelize overnight. But oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what a day, what a day. I'm going to go home now. See you tomorrow, maybe. Good morning, happy Thursday. I did it. I freaking ran 18 kilometers and I showed up to lab. This is an accomplishment. I don't know how long I will actually be able to function, but we will see. I'll keep you updated. I am feeling okay right now, but oh my gosh, that run was so difficult. There's a stretch that's like a kilometer and a half of just uphill. And I dread it so much and I slowed down so much and literally the whole time I was like, I want to stop. I want to stop. I want to stop. But I didn't stop. I didn't stop. And here we are. I'm gonna go check on those samples from yesterday and see if they're ready to run on the UPLC. Yay, I think they're ready. Okay, let's go do this. You've seen me do this about a hundred times, but here we go. I'll just show you again in case you missed it. I'm so tired, I need to sit.
just got back from lunch and I was this close, this close to taking a half day, but I think I don't feel that bad. I'm not that tired. So yeah, I can do this, I can do this. I took out my compounds to make my particles. And now I am very, 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 very tired. Like the speaker. Go, go. <laughs> oh no. Last measurement. While this is measuring, I'm gonna go check my cells. Cells look pretty good. Good morning, happy Friday. We made it, we made it to Friday. Oh my goodness, I'm so tired. My training plan is so, it's really ramping up in intensity. So this week I did like three runs in a row. Yesterday was 18 kilometers and today was eight kilometers. I am so, so tired, I'm so tired. I, oh. But today is just hopefully gonna be a short day because I'm just going to prepare these particles, measure the size, filter them, concentrate them, and then leave them over the weekend. And then I just need to split my cells. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Ah, head is always a mess. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hello, in the cell culture lab once again. I'm just passing my cells so that they can grow freely over the weekend and just waiting for the centrifuge to finish, which should finish very, very soon. Let's do this and start our weekend. Look at these cell pellets. Let's do that thing that the YouTubers do. Oh, you see, you see this product? Do you want to see the cells? I'll show you too. Yeah. That's a week for you. Anyways, I don't know what this vlog is going to be. I forget what this week has been. I feel like it's just been me being very tired from all of my running. So thank you for sticking around. Thank you so much for watching as usual. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.